Benz finna drop a few bass. Guys, we're back at it again, and I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned. You know why I'm concerned? You know why I'm concerned? Because Jeezy just dropped on his IG that they're shut down again. Again, he even put part two on it. And if they're shut down in California, and I don't know if you guys heard how we doing down here in Florida. Florida reported more than 15,000 new cases yesterday. That shatters the one day record for any state. Let's just say I have concerns. With that being said, let's start dropping some videos. Like, right away. We got a lot to do. Today's been productive. Uh, I even recorded a video, shout outs to Dan. He came in looking different. Bro, you shocked me when you walked through the I know, I was telling Kyle, I was like, your father's about to be real shocked, bro. But today's not about Dan. Today is about Maurice. <laughs> Quick story on Maurice. So, I actually used to work with Maurice back in the day in the factory, but we used to work in the warehouse together. And, uh, ooh, I just got dizzy. Uh, that's not, that's neither here nor there. You guys are never going to have to know about the factory. Just know I used to work there and he used to work there. So I had to bring that up so you guys have a little context on who this is that I'm about to cut. But I'm excited that I'm dropping this video because I, I think it's the first. It's the, is it the first? Yeah, it is the first. This video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut around dreads now maurice has a lot of dreadlocks in comparison to other other fellas that get their hair twisted he chose to go like the very very like thin dreads so there's a lot to work with all right it was a lot actually after watching this i've come to the realization that i need to find better ways to section out dreadlocks because it was a lot and you'll 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 get to see it it's look i'm talking too much let's get to this right now let's get to this Jay Hens finna drop a fucking bass. Here we go, guys. This is where it starts. This is where I was like, whoa. This is where sectioning out dreads for me became a nightmare. Look, I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Okay. Stay. I'm just using the clips and I'm I'm just I'm hoping it works. I don't even know how much of these dreads I should section out. This is not the 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 most, you know, beautiful sectioning boys and girls as you can see, but we're going to get it done. We're going to put these dreads up because we're going we're not cutting any of these dreads. We're just going to make sure these dreads are up so we can get to cutting. But before we get to cutting, fonts. Fonts. We're still sectioning fonts. Fonts. Come on, everybody's watching waiting fonts. Can we just no. Still? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're ready, boys and girls. We're ready. We're ready, boys and girls. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going to say a whole lot for this part, but before you get to cutting, you better make sure you comb out the hairs because it's going to suck. If you don't do it, you're going to yank the head, the scalp off your client's head. You're just going to be pulling away because it's it's crammed in there. It's, it's padded down. It's matted down. You want to comb it out before you get to cutting, okay? Okay, I hope you guys can hear me well. So right here, what we're doing is we're grabbing the number two guard and it's, oh, quick shout outs to whoever it was. I'm sorry, I don't remember on the comment section asking why I don't use the masters. I'm using them. See, beat them. I told you, I told you, I told you, I use them once in a while, not all the time, but I use them. And right here, I'm using it with a number two guard. I'm just debulking. I'm, I I'm pretty sure I knew this wasn't going to be the guard I was going to finalize the foundation of how high I was going to go with it. I don't even, I, I did the one and a half for a short period of time and then I came back with the one guard.
gente, aquí lo que vamos a hacer es We're gonna go for the high tape Okay, so with the high tape We're debulking it with the trimmers Not debulking it, we're balding it out I don't know why I said debulking it We're balding it out on both sides And on the back, I'm not going as high with the taper um, Because you see he has a crease And on top of that, I mean No, it's pretty much the crease I could have gone a, a little bit higher possibly But I think that was enough I think that was enough. I think that was fair enough for, for a taper in the back. And then after that, I'm just kind of cleaning out the size. So even though the highest I took it was a one, I'm grabbing the number zero guard for the Andes Masters. Masters. I'm just cleaning around the sides. I, I learned, I'm not going to say I, I didn't learn it from Dre, but Dre at one point when we were talking about cutting waves, he just, he said it in a way that just made so much sense, even though I heard it before. But, you know, you want to cut lower around that area because then the lineup will pop. You know, if you got, you know, hair that's a little bit long and curled up, it's just not going to pop when you line it up. So go lower around that area around the ear. I'm telling you, you'll notice a huge, huge difference. So either way, I'll, you know what, Dre, I'll give you the props. Shout out to Dre. ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm picking out the beard before i get started with the tape why did i do it because maurice has a strong beard it's not strong it's strong super strong so don't play around it's the same principle as when i started debulking and cutting around his head if you don't do it if you don't comb out pick out the hair it's going to pull and it's gonna hurt even more if you don't do it around the face that beard is serious <laughs> It's getting super rewarding with this haircut, okay? But this the shot, the shot is clear. It's clear. So I just I needed I needed this moment. Okay, I'm sorry. I love these. These are the moments I find rewarding. Look at that. Look at that. Mira, mira esto. His skin's a little dry. Take it easy on my man. All right. Okay. He's working on it. He's working on it. But look at the edge. Don't forget about the skin. Look at the edge. Look at the edge up. It's creepy, not creepy, not creepy, creepy. It's crispy, it's crispy. Mira eso, and, and I'm on my Jonah Lucas mode. I'm on my Jonah Lucas mode, keep it 100. Yeah, keep it 100. So I find this to be such an easy haircut. I don't, and I don't say it much. I don't, y'all have struggled with me in a lot of my videos, but this length is so short. There's not so much to fade into. I mean, we're fading into a one boys and girls. Come on. This is, this is basics at this point. All right. And fading this hair texture with the masters, oof, the best, the best. You can hear what you're doing. You got the freaking notches on the side of the clipper. It doesn't get easier than this. I love it. I love it. 
and it just, they just coming off. Cause there's some textures where it don't matter how hard you try, it just feels like you're going nowhere with this fade. Not this fade, other fades. But this particular fade, oh, you gotta appreciate haircuts like this. Maurice, mira, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate your hair texture. It's amazing, okay? It's necessary. We need more cuts like you, bro. We don't get cuts like you all the time, man. And by we, I mean me, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, this is a moment for me right now. Like Beam would say, I'm in my bag right now and I don't feel myself normally, but I'm doing it right now. We doing it together, guys. We're doing it. Look at that. Look at how it's coming. Look at how it's fading out. We are having a victory together, guys. This is going down. And we are fading the beard again. I don't know if you saw me, but I picked it out before I got started. Okay, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. guys look we are shaping this beard out we're not running any guards through it we are shaping it up like a fro because that's pretty much what we, what we have here on his face it's a fro on his face that we're shaping so don't go crazy with the fro on the face you're just shaping it you're picking it out as much as you can and you're knocking out those stragglers we did it with the masters and we're doing it with the shears we're just getting the stragglers and we're keeping it full not everybody that has a beard wants it knocked down or needs to have it knocked down with guards some men think that it has to be knocked down with guards but no that's not the case just grab the clippers and shape it make sure you comb it or pick it out first and then shape it shape it okay nada más nada menos how would you say shape I, damn it i almost had it I almost had it i didn't know how to say shape in spanish put it in the comments below how you say shape in spanish shape it not like use it in the right context though okay all right Okay, at this point, I'm a little upset with myself. Look at how I'm uh, I'm applying the shave gel. Like, what is that, Fonz? Come on, we know how we know better. We you come behind the client and you go like this, Fonz. This 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 is not this is. I don't even feel. I feel less of a barber seeing myself like this. I was winning, and that took some points away right there, Fonz. Let's not do that again, all right, brother. Let's not do that again. Just remember that. We don't apply like that. You gotta, okay? Don't go on the side of your client like that. That probably would make me feel like, yo, this, this man does not know what he's doing. He doesn't, like that barbers are supposed to come from behind, 
pause and you know apply just remember that you see that you see that right i J hits finna drop the fucking bass. Guys, y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? That's that's old Maurice. That man needed help. He needed help. He came to the shop knowing he was going to receive help. And I told him, I looked into his eyes and I said, I got you, Maurice. I got you. And he looked at me and said, I trust you. And I took these hands and I put them to work. You see these hands here? I put him to work, and this is what I did for him. Yes. Yes. I'm feeling that. Y'all feeling that? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So look, big shout outs to Maurice for coming through to the shop. Oh, and for those that don't know, I'm over here at Headlines Barbershop. Make sure you come through. I'm at the North Del Mabry location, all right? You can book with me on the, on the Headlines Barbershop app as well. Just want to put it out there. It's looking like we're going to get another shutdown because, you know, you know, Jeezy shut down. So if, if Cali shut down, then Florida's definitely going to shut down. I hope it doesn't. I'm not trying to speak it into existence. And I really don't want it to happen because that two months of us being shut down, just, you know, I was at the verge of losing my freaking mind. So, if you want to come through, get this pre-quarantine haircut. Make sure you come through, all right? And other than that, I'm out of here. You know what? Because I got I to gotta go home. It's, I, it's been a long day and uh, I got to go to my family. So, I'm going to check y'all later, all right? If you're not subbed, make sure you sub. And, yo, let's... Let's put some likes on this on this uh, uh, on this video, okay? Let's let's get it to at least. I mean, it's been fluctuating a little bit. Let's let's see if we can just get this video to a thousand likes, and then we'll move. We'll talk about more than that after the after we get it to a thousand likes, okay? But I'm out of here. I gotta go. I'll check y'all later. All right. Peace. Yo, Jay.
Jay hits. Jay. Jay. Drop that beat. Jay hits finna drop the fucking bass. <laughs>